Hi there, this buddy. Uh, hey, I'm going to do a go live from my alley. I'm not in my alley yet, but I'm fixing to go out there. And uh, I, I, what made me think about this is video, the news story came out today. And I'm going to show you that. It's a real one minute video. It says uh, there are two side by side manholes beside, uh, behind my home on the other side of the wall next to the secluded trucking lane. And I suspect that one of them provided underground access to my home and was, was being used for sex trafficking, much like a truck stop and lot lizards. I don't know if you can read that. I was seeing truckers showing up 24-7, staying a little bit, and then leaving without delivering freight, and this would be around the same time as I'd hear movement in my attic. It's clear to me that a person in my attic had gone over to meet the trucker. That traffic has stopped after the live tree was removed that sat right next to the manholes around 2015 in a suspected cover-up. I'm going to show you that. The lid of the west manhole was left off for several years. I took a picture of it in 2012 after surviving the murder attempt. I sent it to then Chief of Police Price Robinson. In my East neighbor's front yard is a leftover piece of man-sized tunnel pipe that may have been used to provide that pathway from my home to the manholes on the trucking lane. Last year, I noticed that somebody had spray-painted blue marks on the curb next to the side-by-side -side manholes. I wonder if they were making a tunnel location. There may be a second larger tunnel going from the Home Depot to my home based on aerial pictures that show what looks like a large ditch was cut. And I suspect this tunnel was was the one used for the large underground prostitution parties and underground facility. Now I'm going to show you this video. It's just come out today. It's in El Paso. They're coming out of a manhole. Okay, and, and what I want to show you here is uh, here's the second one. Okay. And like I said, that was four hours ago on KTXS television. Y'all go look that up. And uh, that's what reminded me of what was going on here. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. Okay. This picture I took right after I, I returned from the hospital in 2012. It's on the other side of the wall in my alley. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. I'm going to show you the wall anyway. The lid was left off that manhole for a couple years. And, and that's where truckers would park. And I believe, you know, they were coming from my home, from my attic over there to meet this. This was only taken last year on the same side. And what this picture shows is, one, that live tree is gone. They removed it in 2015. And it shows the two manholes side by side. There's the east one. And right next to it's the second one, the west one. I'm shaking a little bit because I've been weed eating and my arms are tired. Okay, now the curb marks here. Uh, do you see them right there on the curb? They're blue. Okay, so it looks like somebody marked the tunnel location. Pay attention to this telephone pole. We're going to look at that telephone pole in a minute. And because it is on the other side, and my home is this way. Okay. So I'm going to show you the next one. Okay. Here is dated Google Earth pictures showing when the tree was there and the date. Okay. So we know it was, uh, what, what's the date on it? 9 22 14. The tree was there. Okay. And here on this one's 4 28 16. The tree's gone. Notice there's a tracker park there. Okay. I can't hold my camera still. All right. Uh, my arms are exhausted. I've been weed eating out there. Okay, this is the back of Home Depot. Another Google Earth picture. This is looks like a ditch was cut coming out of the back of Home Depot and we extend it off. It goes directly towards my house. I think that's probably the bigger ditch because over here is the missing tree that got removed and then and that thing in the backyard of the east neighbors that all got removed at the same time. Okay, and so that's a, about six months before I shot on that picture. Just a week or two ago, a friend called and said, go to Google Maps and go look up your address. And there's a large facility in my backyard that can't be seen above ground. Okay, uh, here it is right there. So there's my home. So it's where I'm shot. And in that backyard is this facility. Okay, it's right across the street from where them tree that tree was uh, removed and, uh, and them two uh, manholes are. Okay. I also have a, another video here on YouTube, people in the attic everywhere. People all over the country are reporting people in the attic. That's where this started. I reported somebody in my attic a year before I shot, and then when I shot, ambushed and shot, burglar alarms were going off in my attic, and it's still going on. Okay. And trying to terrorize me from my home. Okay. And this one's interesting. This is my HVAC filter that fits into my ceiling, and I found a Lego toy on top of it. And I change that every three months. So I knew it would have been dropped recently. I know there's a pipe on top of it, but 
but uh, or, or it's a flex pipe that, that that you can tell from the top side been removed. So that told me that children was up there, and I believe it was uh, possibly connected to child sex trafficking. We're going to go outside. Okay, we're not going to let Bella go outside because I'm going to go out in the alley. And... Okay. Nice and cool out here today. Okay. And uh, I've been, I weeded it all this out here so it's easier to see. What I want to show you here, I've shown this before, but now it's all cut. So it's a lot easier to see because I mowed the whole thing, you see. And, uh, and then weeded it. But what I want to show you is it looks like that they tunneled under this section. Because if you look, there's, there's a whole row of bricks are missing starting right there. You see where there should be a brick there and it's gone, okay? And that goes, I'm gonna back off here, all the way to where the mother bricks are lined up over there. So there's a good three sections of brick wall right here. It looks like this uh, telephone pole got hit by the backhoe when they are digging it out, okay? And, uh, and I'm watching, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you when you get in here, you can see that this concrete is poured on top of concrete right there. Here, let me show you. Concrete poured on top of concrete right there, and the row of bricks are missing. So, so I, it, it's real clear to me that that section was was tunneled under, and then concrete was re-poured sometimes in the past, and probably in connection with the uh, with the crimes here at this home. Okay. Now we're going to go on down to the other side where the telephone pole is, and that's where the manholes are. Okay. And we can look at this as we go. That's not any stepping either. This is this is level ground. And there is also a pile of red bricks in the west neighbor's backyard. I asked her where they come from. She said, oh, that, that fence out there. And so probably that bottom row of fence right there. Okay. Here's the telephone pole and the missing tree. You see where all the line of trees are right there? The line of trees that way. It's obvious there's a tree missing right there. They took it out somewhere between 2014 and 2016, and that was after I was uh, taking pictures of the two side-by-side -side manholes on the other side and, and, and posting about the murder attempt on my life and all this. I was also posting about this coax cable, okay? This is a sudden link cable right here, okay? And, and, and I traced it out. You're going to see it goes into the ground okay all the homes here are fed above ground so it doesn't go to the homes okay and I contacted Home Depot uh, went up several layers of management IT group they promised me they don't have sudden link in their building so it goes underground it's right next to the manholes and then on this side over here that's where that underground facility or suspected underground facility is is, is in my backyards right there and so uh, uh, if you're ever in this area, or if you live in Midland, you can just come down this alley, you know, it's a public alley. Take your picture of the wall, whatever, post it, you know, share it. Because it looks like, you know, this home was rigged for sex trafficking. I had a tree limb fall over. That's how come I got the limbs piled up there. I'm going to show you a couple more things in the backyard here. That's kind of interesting. Okay, all right, here, here one thing, uh, I've told this before, okay, it, it's not a what if could be about people getting in the attic, okay, we know that for a fact, there, you know, I saw a person up there, I was shot with a, uh, attic burglar alarms going off, uh, they've set them off hundreds of times, uh, it's absolutely, and they're not coming in the doors, and they're not coming in the roof, and so, that means that they're coming in, uh, uh, through a wall and a normal wall doesn't have enough space so you got to find a wall where there's enough space and one possibility is is that chimney stack okay notice how it's wide on the bottom narrow at the top and so uh, I've always felt like that was one possible place that that could be the underground entrance so the other thing that I found was where the ground's cracked here I don't know if you can see it see where it's cracked okay and then it's cracked here, so it's, so possibly right there in the middle of them two cracks right there, you know, is is a, uh, a tunnel or whatever. And, uh, and this crack actually goes 
all the way to this corner um, of that uh, fireplace stack. So I want to show you that. Other thing, and I kept this, this dug out, because this home is buried a foot and a half under dirt. The slab is underneath there, and that wasn't, that wasn't normal. I have a video called 28 Layers that is about that. And also, they even buried the fence, okay? It, it's the entire property, all the whole yard, except for that one low section out there where the suspected uh, underground facility is. But like right here, I can look over this fence. Normally, you couldn't look over a six-foot fence. The, the fence is buried, you know? And, and so the ground is a foot up higher than you normally think. And you see my new weed eater? That thing's heavy. That's what wore me out earlier. Okay, one last thing I'm going to show you. That's I was showing the roofer the other day. And it's kind of interesting. I, I don't think I've ever posted this. If I have, it's been a long time. I, I was telling them that when I first bought this house, they did the inspection and said, oh, we got to replace the gas line. Okay, well, the seller, which was Sarah Lawn, uh, agreed to pay half, and I pay half. And of course, that was a required that we... Uh, you know get this done before for the sale of the house so i mean you don't have no choice you got to do it okay so a guy comes out here who plays the line. well let me show you this gas line okay that's the biggest gas line i ever seen going to a house right there you know and uh this will give you an idea how big it is usually they're three quarter inch pipe or one inch pipe that looks like that's about one and three quarter inch pipe of gas line going to my house and uh the other thing about that gas is the uh the fireplace back at the fireplace there it was popped for gas when I first moved in here and uh, uh, I, I bought some gas logs they were they were burning wood in it and I cleaned it all out and I bought gas logs and I popped it all up and and I was gonna I was just gonna use gas you know and I could never get gas to come out of the valve and uh, and so uh, I, I wondered even if they cut the gas line, you know, that was going to the fireplace, and then they took it underground, you know, so, because they're stealing, I've already said that all along, they're stealing heating, cooling, electricity, they're stealing services from me. You know, it's not just breaking in your house and spying on you or shooting you, they're stealing from you. You know, that's, I mean, that's what this, really the ultimate about is the, is the, the stealing and the thieving. And uh, I'm gonna try to show you the fireplace. From the inside, I got so much stuff there. But uh, there's the valve down there. I don't know if you can see it right there. And there's a little valve handle. And there's a valve on the inside. And I could never get gas out of the fireplace. When you go up in the in the attic, you can see the pipe comes off the gas line, comes down that wall, but it won't come out that valve. So maybe it's cutting that wall. And maybe they took it underground so they could steal it. This buddy.